Welcome to Evalue What? A Quick Introduction to Evaluation with me, Lissa wilson Becho. This video is for all of you who just wrinkled your nose when you read the word evaluation. For those of you who cringe at the thought of being evaluated. And for those of you who aren't sure why others are having those reactions to a word that you've never heard before. If you're submitting a proposal to the National Science Foundation's Advanced Technological Education Program, you will notice a requirement in the solicitation for evaluation. Yes, it is a requirement. You may be asking, why should I give part of my hard-earned grant money to people who won't be directly advancing my project's activities? We know it can seem like evaluation budgets are wasted, but I'm here to tell you why that's not true. Why you should be excited about working with your evaluator and how your evaluation can work for your project. I'm Lisa wilson Becho with Evaluate the Evaluation Hub for NSF's ATE program. We are all things Evaluate. When you think of evaluation, I hope you think of us. We provide trainings like this one, bring together a network of people interested in evaluation, conduct research on how to improve evaluation in ATE, and collect data on the activities and achievements of the ATE projects. Before we move forward to the good stuff, I wanna point out that while we are funded by NSF, we do not speak for NSF, and the opinions of this video are our own. I also want to mention that this video is just a primer, a taste, something to get your feet wet and intrigue you to want to know more. Evaluate has a lot of other content that can help you continue your journey with evaluation, but I'll mention more about that at the end of this video. So, the big question, why should you care about evaluation? Well, have you ever found yourself sitting in a strategy session wondering what to do next? What course should be created? Does a new course need to be created? If so, should it be online or in person? How are students currently engaged in the courses that are being offered online? Are they learning the same skills as they would in person? Knowing more about your current activities would really help answer these questions and guide your decisions about future activities. Well, guess what? This is evaluation. Your evaluation can help you answer these kinds of questions and many more. Evaluation can help you understand how your project's going, what's working well, what's not working well, who is really benefiting from the project's activities, who might be left behind. We call these kinds of questions process questions, and evaluation can help you understand more about what you're doing and what's working. Evaluation can also help you answer the bigger questions, the so what of your project. You created a new course, so what? You modified a certificate program, so what? You offered a professional development workshop to new educators, so what? Did it make a difference? Whose lives have changed because of your activities and how have they changed? These kinds of big questions are important to NSF as the funder, they want to know what happened as a result of their monetary investment, but they should also be important to you and your project staff. Everyone has those days where they question why they do what they do. Evaluation can help you find those answers. Seeing the impact of your work has made on the lives of students, faculties, and employers can provide great fulfillment and motivation. Now, hold on, you may be thinking, this seems awfully optimistic. I've heard rumors of evaluations that they don't go so well, that say projects didn't do a good job. I don't wanna tell NSF or my college administrators that my project didn't go well. Well, you're right. Evaluation is not only there to paint a rosy picture of your project. It's there to document what really happened, the good and the bad. But don't you wanna know if there was something that's not working well and then have the data to help you fix it? Evaluation can play a key role in identifying weaknesses in a project and illuminating potential solutions. Evaluations usually wrap up all of their findings into a report. This is really helpful for the project staff, but you can also share this evaluation report with your administrators to show them what your project has been up to. You might also want to share this evaluation report with other projects and colleges who are interested in carrying out similar activities. They can learn lessons from your project, what to replicate, what to avoid. Bringing together learnings from different evaluations can help to build evidence for the effectiveness of projects. 
Evaluation findings also help you when you're applying for more funding. So including evaluation findings from prior projects in your proposals shows funders that you have a track record of getting results. It also highlights that you're critically reflecting on your project activities and that you're using a data-informed approach to improvements and future endeavors. So what exactly is evaluation? Well, evaluation can take many forms, but primarily evaluation helps to ask important questions, gather evidence to help answer those questions, it interprets and makes meaning out of the data that was gathered, and then it reports those results back to you. Evaluation can come in many shapes and sizes, but in the end, evaluation is meant to be useful and it's meant to be used. The responsibility to make sure that that happens rests with both the evaluator and the project staff. So now that you know what evaluation is and how it can help your project, don't just think of evaluation as a box to check off or a line item to include in your budget. But instead, think of all of the different ways that you can work with your evaluator and how you can incorporate evaluate, evaluation findings into your decision making. Use evaluation to troubleshoot sticky spots in your project. Use evaluation to highlight your work to business and industry partners. Use evaluation to motivate your team. So now when you hear the word evaluation, it should be music to your ears. You should be dancing with excitement about its possibilities and potentials. Sadly, we're reaching the end of this video, but I know you have more questions now that you know how valuable evaluation can be. Lucky for you, Evaluate can help. If you have questions about writing an evaluation plan for your proposal, take a look at our checklist for writing evaluation plans for ATE proposals. If you wanna know more about finding and selecting an evaluator, we have a guide for that as well. If you already have an evaluator, but things aren't going that well, check out our checklist for communicating with your evaluator. If you wanna learn more about evaluation in general, spend some time with our video series on evaluation basics for non-evaluators. And there are even more resources on our website. If you don't see what you're looking for or you have more questions, feel free to send me an email. I'm always happy to talk with others and share my excitement about evaluation. So before we end, a quick shout out to my colleague Anna for helping with these amazing slides and to Slide Carnival for providing inspiration. Thanks for listening.